ready to go. Racing now on the shorts, so Thelric Whiteout began particularly well. So did Arv Overpass on the rails. Remark bounced well. So did Hawaii 5 0. Private Eyes jumped well, but drifting back into fifth position now. Uh, they're followed then by In Secret, lost and running out deep from Ruthless Dame. Uh, further back to Buenos Notches on the rails, and the Ruffies rocketing by and Casino Lord back last of all. Josh Paz got the front and overpass by three quarters to a Thelric. Remark very well positioned third. Uh, a length into Hawaii 5 Private Eye seeing plenty of daylight. So's lost and running. Buenos Notches back on the rails from In Secret. A bit cluttered up coming to the turn from Ruthless Dame Marzu. Well back from Rocketing by and Casino Lords. Last of all, 375 to go. Overpass in front from Athelry. Private Eye on the outside of Hawaii. 5 0. Remarks trying to come off the fence. Inside the 200 overpass. Still the leader. Boy, Private Eye. He's still coming the outside. Overpass from Private Eye. Buenos Notches late on the scene. Private Eye going to overpass. Bob of the heads. Oh, Private Eye, I'd say, has got there. Give it to Private Eye, a half head to overpass. Buenos Notches charging into third. Then came Remark from In Secret. Further back, Hawaii 5 0, rocketing by. Then came Casino Lord, lost and running, ruthless Damon Marzu. See you later, Eduardo. Hello, Private Eye. And he's got Think About It to come. Well, over to you, slot holders. What do you want to do now? Joe Pride and those colours have already got Think About It into the Everest. Private Eye, runner-up in the big one last year, has won the shorts. Joe said he'd be picked after today. He'd come here and make a statement, and he'd be very surprised if he didn't walk away from this race course today without having a slot in the Everest. But now about the place getters, Ronnie. What do they do with Overpass and Buenos Notches? In secret, of course, she's all wrapped up. It's all up for grabs. Well, so many questions and a few little answers there that that was an arrogant win, so they'll just have to wear out, uh, work out which cap they wear uh, once he's selected, Private Eye. Um, I thought that uh, Overpass stuck on well, just softened up a little there by Thelric, uh, and I reckon Buenos Notches was fantastic considering, you know, he was uh, back in distance, held up behind uh, a couple of them there and he finishes off really well. So he's still right in the mix there. Remark had his chance so um, it's, and still wasn't beaten far. But uh, look, what, what are we going to take out of this? I think we'll have to sit back, replay it again, analyse the race. But obviously this is what we're working with and they're top class horses. An absolute outstanding effort by the winner. It was three deep. It got popped out down the back around about the half mile. It was popped out. Face the breeze the, pretty much the whole race. But to pick him up and have the audacity to run through the line like that was just an outstanding. And that man again, Nash, he knows where the post is. He just gets him there. His timing in a race is absolutely to perfection. And again, man, he's a freak. Well, he's partnered Think It Over to a memorable comeback victory on his way to mounting up on private eye he gave his old mate Eduardo a pat to say farewell old mate and he is just the jockey that keeps on keeping on he just does yeah and again he's just he's putting them in all the right spots the times out you know outstanding he's getting them there all at the right time mate he's a freak he's an absolute freak well we're assuming this horse is going to find its way into the Everest in which slot we don't know, considering that Godolphin, they have in secret and they have cylinder. Coolmore are waiting for Shinzo next week. Yulong are sitting there with alcohol free, who'll come back in the premiere. But the Australian Turf Club, the Tab, even Chris Waller, who, who may not pick one of his own, he may have to go looking for another stable. And of course, Max Whitby and Neil Werrett are sitting there watching as well. But he's probably done enough now. Here's Nash. Well done, Nash. You said goodbye to Eduardo and said, righto, Private Eye, let's go. <laughs> Makes my day, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, great to see Think It Over back and see another old champ leave. But, um, yeah, God bless you. Yeah, thanks to my manager and, and, and same with Joe. Like, uh, the writing was on the wall where, yeah, a month ago that um, may not necessarily have an average ride and... Um, Look, he said if something you know happens and, and Eduardo's not there for us, you can you can ride this bloke. And it's just I, I knew I knew he'd come good for us at the right time. He's a, just a magnificent horse.
what, what about his win? Like, he was basically three deep pretty much the whole trip, facing the breeze, but to have the audacity to pick him up and get him to the line like that? Yeah, well, look, I had um, Hawaii 5 sort of in front of me. He was, didn't want to go to the fence, and um, I thought it had been riding all right today, but... Um, yeah, look, it, that, that sort of took the race beyond our, out of our control a little bit. I've just had to try and get the horse to travel in the right, um, you know, frame of mind, and, and he did that. And, you know, the way he quickened up coming over the rise, uh, it was, it was going to be very, very hard to beat, even though the full credit of the second horse had fought on bloody strong. Well done, mate. Cheers. OK, Joe Pry, congratulations. Uh, you might very well be looking at two runners in the Everest. Yeah, I'd like to think so. Um, and, there's, you know, that's, that's four weeks away and we've got a little bit of work to do between now and then, but this was already a horse who's been on that stage before and performed. So, um, as I said, sort of going into this week, I was pretty relaxed about it. If he's going good enough, he'll be there and I believe he'll be in that field. Um, how that's going to take place over the next few weeks, we'll have a think about that um, in terms of his preparation, but just so good to see him come back and, you know, find find that level that he was at last spring. There was a breath of relief there. Yeah, there, was, there is, there is, and, and, and uh, he looked like he was pretty tired that last hundred, and it's, he's pretty burly still. Uh, he's a very good fresh horse, but he's got good improvement to come, and I, could, I would say the horse that'll turn up here in four weeks' time will be two or three lengths better than that. How many sports can a trainer and a jockey, well, obviously, there's only one sport with a jockey, but how many, how many sports can you farewell one champ and then five minutes later, another yeah. horse emerges. Well, I'm hoping I'm back here to give him two weeks' time with one that, uh, I don't know, everyone keeps telling me he's better than this horse. We'll, uh, we'll see. We'll what do you think? Um, I, I'm always supporting the underdog, and I'm a bit of a team spade man, but that other horse is amazing. So I just want one of them to win. <laughs> <laughs> so think about it here next Saturday. Uh, no, no, two weeks away. Oh, two weeks, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And, and, and then... whether or not I clash them, I'm not sure. And it's not about whether... I'm not worried about clashing them. I've just got to do the right thing by private eye, and I'll, I'll have a think about that. He may not need one. Uh, that's right, yeah. yeah, and it's just about the best way to get him there, and I'll, the way he pulls up over the next week will tell me a lot about that. Well done today. Thank you.